we are of course back with another video. Now as you guys know, we cover a lot of weird shit on this channel. There's a lot of gore, there's a lot of bad news, but there's one thing that I've never really covered on this channel. Strange fetishes. Now this one's going to be a bit of a ride, because it's something that I've never just covered in one video. Now people have fetishes. It's known that people have fetishes. People have got their all up to book they've got their own sexual desires, I suppose. But today we're going to talk about one of those fetishes which personally I do not understand. That is of course the scat fetish. Now as I was browsing around looking for things to cover, I came across two girls one cup. Except the video I came across wasn't that two minute section with Herb Roy's lover's theme song which is this piece of music. It was in fact an hour long version that I wasn't even aware existed. And today we're going to talk about it. Now if you were a kid back in 2007 who was exposed to this particular shock video in which a lot of people were, then you probably already know a lot of the details I'm about to mention. For the most part this hour movie is pretty normal for the first 10 minutes and then the rest of it's just you know what. But stick around because I'm going to give more of a background story after I've basically told you what happens and if you've not seen it then you're in for something different today. So I can't show anything because it's all very pornographic and I don't think YouTube will appreciate me putting that sort of stuff on here for everybody to see. So for the first 10 minutes you basically got what seems to be a normal lesbian porn movie. You've got kissing, you've got licking boobs, you've got licking vagina, all the normal stuff in your typical lesbian porno. And then it all gets weird, and I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this, because frankly, there's not much to it. Somebody takes a shit in a cup, and it looks like chocolate ice cream. And one of the women is basically what looks like a Hispanic woman and a sorry, a Latina woman and there's a white woman there. And yeah, the Hispanic woman or Latina woman, whatever, um, defecates into a cup and they start eating it and they start eating poo from each other's bottles and all that kind of stuff. And it eventually leads to them throwing up in each other's mouth. It's 40 minutes of just, yeah, poo and vomit being traded between two women. So for me to go through that whole thing, to sit there for an hour, it just wasn't going to happen. So like I said, not spending too much time explaining what actually happened. And now we're going to move on to a bit of background about this whole thing because at the time the shock video never really got any background story to it all we knew it was very shocking at the time of course because it's a shock video and that her from Roy's lover's theme was just completely ruined and it put a dent in the classical music industry now the official name of this full movie was in fact Hungry Bitches, and when you think of Hungry Bitches, you basically think of Hungry Karens craving a, a cheeseburger. And it was produced in 2007 by the company MFX Media. The video was made and produced and directed by Marco Antonio Fiorito, who calls himself a compulsive fetishist. Fet fetishist? I don't know how to pronounce that. But in the first few months of just the trailer, which is what you see, uh, the main video, the main video is just the trailer, and uh, yeah, what you see there 
a few months after it was made, it went viral. It was spread all over the internet. There were tons and tons of reactions on YouTube, in which even a few celebrities were brought in and made to react to this trailer. So Fiorito basically started making movies in 1994, and in 1996 he basically set up a fetish film business with his wife. Now Fiorito's movies were actually classed as obscene in court, and he actually claimed that a lot of the movies that he made were actually done using chocolate instead of actual excrement. And a lot of people who view these kind of things also agree with the fact that it could have been like chocolate ice cream or melted chocolate or even peanut butter to an extent. And as for the vomit, a lot of people believe that the vomit's real, except that it was brought up before it reached the stomach, so it doesn't actually contain any gastric acids. And also in the movie, a lot of the vomit doesn't actually go into the other person's mouth. It tends to avoid the mouth area. But with all the viewers saying that it could just be food and Fiorito arguing this in court saying, no, it's just chocolate ice cream, even though this was the case argued, it was unsuccessful. But for Fiorito, the name Two Girls One Cup actually impacted many other shock videos, as listed Two Girls One Finger, Eight Girls No Cup, One Guy One Jar, One Guy One Screwdriver, Three Orangutans, One Blender, Three Guys One Hammer, and One Girl One Cake. And there's also a variety of parodies made about it, including this music video. Some people like to kiss. Some people like to hug Some lesbians like eating each other's shit out of a cup Some people say I love you Some even shout it out Some people puke semi-digested shit into each other's mouths And let me just say that if this two thousand and seven fetish film really floats your boat You'll be excited to know that there's actually a second one that was made and released in 2017. So yeah, that's basically everything that I've got to say about that. I hope you've enjoyed this little change of, should we say, atmosphere. You know, God can get a bit tedious sometimes and we're here for the shocking stuff so... Who knows, maybe we'll talk about more poo and pee and vomit. All the weird stuff. As usual guys, thanks for watching. And if you want, like, subscribe, and maybe click that little bell next to the subscribe button. I watch these things so you guys don't have to. Stay safe guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.